Okay. Right. Anyway. Yeah, okay, let's go. Okay, so, yeah, so we're on this one. So, yeah. So. Right, so we need to establish what front yeah. pose is best for you, but obviously, you know, for the purpose of this time, as the time goes on, your front pose may change. That's because your mm -hmm. music changes. So you just need yeah. to get comfortable in a front pose. Yeah. So we can use the, you know, the most common front pose in, in bikini IFBB, which is left foot forward. Yeah. So you, so you put your left foot, let's see if I can try and get in the pose. Let me see if you can see me. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? So left foot forward and then your right foot to the side. Okay, so there. So yeah, so left foot forward, right to the side, and you literally just you put your hands on the Move back here. Okay, so left foot forward. So left right foot, foot to the side. Left foot forward, right foot. So you've got like a bit of a twist. Yeah. So when you've got when you your your right foot here, um yeah. it depends on the gap depends on your physique and how it shows your quads basically. So yeah. obviously we'd need to develop that over, over a couple of sessions and especially over time. But it's, yeah. the purpose of today, we're just going to be getting the fundamentals together so you can go mm -hmm. and practice it, yeah? So yeah. That, seems, that seems nice if, but from what I can see. So right hand on your hip. Let me just take this off yeah. to be better. So yeah. right hand on your hip. And yeah. with, with the hand, it needs to be quite low towards your hip. Okay. Use there. either use your hand so it just tucks into the hip. Mm -hmm. So with the hip bone, how depending on how low your hip bone is, what you need to do yeah. is you say you're swinging forward, you need to push back with your hip, your your whole upper body. So your upper body is almost facing forward. Your mm -hmm. upper body, sorry, your lower body is facing forward. So you use yeah. you're using this hand. To push it yeah. back. Okay. Okay. This is this yeah. is it's the hard bit of trying to obviously learn how to you know to hold the pose. But so you mm -hmm. put your foot forward and you're pushing the hip towards the right, and then yeah. as you do that, you then need to move your upper body. Okay. So, it's so you're pushing the hip back there. So just that is automatically going to take you front on. You then need yeah. to use your upper body to twist the opposite way Thank so you're, that. yes so basically what you're doing effectively you're asking your body to twist in two different ways because you're mm -hmm. pushing it that way but then you're trying to bring your upper body around okay so we're facing that way and that's it okay so as you do it you're standing nice and tall with mm -hmm. your shoulders up this hand here so your yeah. hand, yeah. So what yeah. they do like to see is they do like to see the palms facing the floor. So okay. you can do that. It depends on how elegant you are. You know, obviously they don't like to see this. You know, yeah. obviously you're going to have tan on that hand. It'll look pretty nasty. So yeah. you're, trying, you're trying to hide that. You're trying to look as elegant as possible and keep yeah. it. It needs to be low the arm. So okay. the good thing about being a rookie is that you, you haven't picked up bad habits. Whereas okay. so some of us like to have our arms up and it takes away from your physique. But you bring uh -huh. it down, IFPB are just looking for an elegant look. So it comes down, that's it, it's nice. So think yeah. about the hand and you pushing, really, really twist them hips. Best thing that you can do to get flexible in this position is do mm -hmm. stretches yoga stretches okay. yeah so that's what we need to work on really so we can get the twist right so you can okay. turn with your upper body and your lower body yeah so so this so you so you, you your left hand yeah yeah just keep it slightly up just up away from that it from your hip. So you're keeping you're keeping it almost down. Okay. That's it, it's nice. Okay, so twist, really twist them hips the opposite way, forward, so you're facing the wall. And then that upper body comes right the way around. And you just 
boom, pop, pop it out, that's it. Nice, that's better. So what I can see of your shoulders, it's obviously a bit difficult, but I can just see um, your awesome shoulder um, development, which is amazing, the shape. So you've got, okay, your hands right, yeah. How does that feel in this pose? Yeah, good. Yeah, it's hard, isn't it? It's really hard. It is, though. It's really so what hard. What are you doing at the bottom half? What are your feet doing at the moment? Uh, so my left foot is kind of slightly there, mm -hmm. facing that. And my I'm kind of standing on my toe and my right foot. Right, okay. So <laughs> what we'll, we'll do is we'll move the camera so we can see, so I can see your feet, so I can correct your transitions. Yeah. Let me just grab my heels. Okay. Have you got heels on? No. Okay. Yeah. Want me to put heels on? Hey. I haven't got the pose and heels. Right. Okay. It's not a problem. You're doing great. We just obviously, you know, do recommend you get a pair the sooner the sooner the better, because then you'll get used yeah. to posing in them. Perfect. I'll try putting this here. It might be better. I'll send you a link for the pose and shoes, the ones that I recommend. Oh, thank you. Lava of ordering like I did for years and finding <laughs> the best ones. And to be honest, the best ones are the IFBB ones. Okay. So, so if you send me a link to them. Yeah, I will do, no problem. So your feet, let's see what your feet doing. So let's so my feet forward, are doing. forward yeah. right foot. That's it. Now twist. Using using that hand. That's it. So use put the hand in. Yeah. Okay, awesome. I'll just move my feet down. You can see. So, yeah, can you see? Yeah. So you just, your, you seem to look better with your leg out, but your quad is coming out on, on your left leg, which is really nice. Yeah. So you can have a little play around with the difference, what you think you can see. Some have it closer in, and they do that because they're trying to hide the different, obviously, the development in their legs. But if you've got developed legs, then show them off. That's what they want to see. Yeah. So in terms of your left foot, um, just slightly turn it forward so it's facing the front rather than slightly out or in. Because okay. that does, I can see your, your quad development from here. Mm -hmm. Right, so it's a nice pose. Actually, you've got your feet, you've got your feet really well. Right, so from here, what we would need to see was, let me move forward a bit. <laughs> It's trying, to get, it's trying to get the camera right, isn't it? <laughs> so we would go into right foot and then the right foot comes back and your arms come down and then you go into a T-shaped position. You need to keep your transitions as neat as possible so you don't, you don't look like you... It just looks like a, part, a ride in the park, okay? Because with IFBB, they don't like you moving around too much and it's done in three seconds. So every transition transition should only be three seconds. So you okay. going from the front pose. Yeah. So front pose. Oh yeah. One, two, three, and then we're going to go into the turn. One, two, three. So. Okay. It's, so can we do that again? Yeah, yeah. It's really. Don't worry. I'm not going to just. Do it, but it is actually quite simple once you've got the transitions together. People can make it crazy, but they don't need to. So. You go from this position, so the right foot goes back, yeah. and lean, and then on your hip, so your glutes come out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So in this in this position, you can hold a different front pose. So if okay. you go, so if you imagine what I've just done with my feet, I've gone back, and then I'm going to hold a front pose. Okay. Yeah. So from there, so my feet are in a T position in the front pose. Okay. Into that position. So I'm going to lean back and then I'm just going to twist my feet. Glute comes out and that's when we go into the back transition. Okay. Like there. So let's have a little look at what's going on. So we've got, okay. so go back into your front pose, left foot forward, right foot. Okay, so we'll just lay with the twist in the hip. Like this, the, just the, the left toe, just point it towards me. Yeah. That's it, yeah. 
We're going to have to have a little play around with that. And I want you to start being aware at when you're posing, what mm -hmm. looks better in your physique because you know only you will know that as well. Obviously, posing practice and posing, posing coaches are great. It's just that you will know what looks good. Just from looking at myself so much, I know. Yeah, well, <laughs> no, I know exactly. I just need to get you in the posing. Um, okay, so from this point of view, I would say slightly turn your toe, your left toe. Um, trying to go the opposite. Right. Is it right? Turn my right toe. So your left foot. Yeah. Turn your, turn your toe towards the wall. Yeah. That's it. Okay, I like that. That's better. Okay. That's a nice pose. So that is good for you. So if we remember this, yeah, and don't forget, when you've got heels on, it, it elongates your um, muscle anyway, so you'll have more definition. Okay, perfect. Okay, so now in this position, so just turn your hip towards the wall and try your best to bring your upper body around. And uh, so I'm trying, turning my hip right. Yeah. yeah, so you're just twisting it around. Use the hand to push it back. Okay, so... You're pushing into your hip bone, pushing it back. That's it. And now bring your shoulders to the front. Towards sure. the front. That's it, okay? It looks great. So your left hand, is it? The one with the watch on, is that left? <laughs> bring yeah, it up. yeah. Yeah, just bring it up slightly just away from your glutes. Okay. It looks, yeah, it looks a lot better. Well done. So now you're going to go right foot back in. So let's just try and do this, the first transition, right foot yeah. back and your left foot comes in to the T, T shape. So there, so you've got, So not too much of a gap when you come back. So it is literally, so you're going from here, yeah? So yeah. right, you can only do small steps. You don't, so what we don't need to do is we don't need to do a big gap because we've got to come back from that. Because okay. we've got to do this. So yeah. you're already in this position. So you're just going to make a little tiny step back. So it's, un, it's not even noticeable. Yeah. So even if you're in, in a parallel position, it would literally be right foot back and then your left foot comes in towards the heel arch of your foot. So, it's, so it is literally like a T, like a T shape. Yeah. Okay, so. That's it. Would, would find it a little bit easier, obviously because you're on bare feet, it's harder because yeah. you're, you're giving yourself the extra work of holding up, but that is much better. Okay. So, don't forget every transition we are still trying to show our physiques so if you just bear that in mind every time we transition we're almost kind of getting away with another pose to show show you ju the judges your physique so yeah. we obviously don't let loose we just use that so we've gone from i know it sounds strange but we've gone from this is the common front pose at the moment in ifbv then you're going into that that would then be another pose but that's part of your transition into this back pose, yeah. Is that right for the back pose? Right, yeah. So you've gone from the T position, and then you would literally yeah. left foot forward, and you would swing. This is the hardest bit. So you you're keeping your feet, you're moving. You all you're doing is you're moving the balls of your feet, and you you're pushing your glutes out. What are your arms doing when you're doing that? Go on. Let's see. Okay, so I'm going to turn back here now. So bring your then, feet in just a little bit more together. My feet? Yeah, just bring your, just bring your feet a bit closer. That's it. So there, and they're going in a T. Yeah. yeah. And you're moving with the balls of your feet, lift the glute right up and turn it around. Okay. Yeah. So you... Yeah. Yeah, it's all, yeah, your feet, the transition with your feet is correct. We just need some practice with the glute turn. Um, okay. Just remember, this is just your fundamental first practice. So please don't give yourself, you know, such a hard time. We've just got to, we've just got to keep doing it and go over it. Um, Try it again. So pause your feet, that, that's it. Lift. So what you're doing is, so you're like, because you've got no shoes on, it's harder to so your, 
you're like lifting up and then turning and then you're coming back yeah. down you're doing this but when oh, you're yeah, up, yeah. if you stayed on your toes if you are barefoot if you stay on your toes and yeah. it's, it's, just, it's harder because you're trying to obviously move balance on. yeah yeah you're trying to balance it's harder so so look that's it so you turn so you're turning so you're going from the t shape yeah when you're in this position you want your hands you want your hands by you want to, you want the hands to be doing as less as possible so yeah you don't want to be dancing with your hands they don't need to see that so what yeah. they like to see is it's just nice and tidy so with yourself you've gone from here yeah. and then you would then put your arms down in this yeah. position okay mm -hmm. and then when you're turning the the, the right hand goes back on your hip yeah and then the left hand would then be tucked away on your thigh to avoid you from moving it around or getting it in the way of your physique you want to hand mm -hmm. it so you're literally you can use your hand to push your glute back if you wanted to okay so <laughs> I feel like handing you a pair of shoes. <laughs> I know, I know you said. Oh, I'll get you the pair, don't worry. Okay, so go back into the front pose. Let's just, I don't want to do too much because otherwise I'm just going to completely knock you off your socks. <laughs> yeah, no worries. So we're going to go into the front pose. So. so. That's it really use so this session really it's about the front pose you know it's easier to break it down really because you're gonna go away and forget if it did the whole transitions anyway I mean I did with my I still do now with my yeah. person coach you just go what so <laughs> if you just learn the front pose is the most important important pose and you can yeah. never, you can never get a perfect front pose so you might as well start your practice you know with with front pose so let's go in nice and tight then with your hip hip towards uh, tuck in your yeah. hand tuck in that hand and really push the hip there yeah remember with the foot with the left foot that's it with the toe nice um what am i doing that oh point the toes towards yeah point, point the toe slightly away and just bring your right foot your right leg just in slightly Towards, towards so it's not so it's not so much of a gap out towards the door so it comes more towards you okay go okay yep yeah. now right foot back you're yeah. going to transition right foot back only a little tiny step remember because you've got to come back from it so right foot back arms go down no yes. keep your shoulders up and your tummy in we can do all that later but you know <laughs> we just do need to start thinking about this okay yeah so transition now so you're going to go into the glutes so turn with your glutes okay so. so that's it to the left nice and into that position that's not much better yeah yeah okay happy mm -hmm. with that transition happy with that one <laughs> It is, yeah it's hard it really is people you know underestimate posing posing's the hardest part i think yeah my boyfriend was telling he competes he's like competed for a good few years but he was saying get on top of your pose and now oh, that's amazing so he, uh, he's like, it doesn't, yeah it doesn't really matter how good your physique is if you can't show it off like on stage definitely so uh, okay that's awesome so um let's go into the front pose the other front pose that we're going to do so so you yeah. have your, your ifbb pose which is is this one which you always kind of go back to because when you okay. when you're in the wings and you're waiting you've done your own eye walk and you've gone back and you you know you're at the side gates of the stage waiting for the other girls to do their bit it's the yeah. common pose so it is really good to practice it Okay. However, the other pose that you can use as part of your eye walk and you personally would be the pose where 
you're sitting into it, you see, you'll see quite a few um, amateur athletes doing it because it's, mm -hmm. it's the common pose, but girls can sit nicely into this and show their physique as an extra front. Are you using the same foot forward as you were for your other front pose? So, sorry, what was that? Are you using the same foot as your forward? Yeah, so uh, it's just the same because when you're in when you're in this front pose, you could yeah. then use your left leg and go in back into this. So you just okay. go from from the, from this front pose to this one. Okay. So left, if you go left foot forward, is it easier to see the feet? Yeah. Left foot forward. So left foot forward and this right foot here literally yeah. needs to be like a T shape. But you can play around with this. So don't worry about it too much. It's more about getting it's more about getting the dip into. So what we're trying to do here again, it's the same as the other front pose. You're trying to turn the glute, but trying to push your right hand into your hip so it turns the opposite way. Yeah. To be honest, it is the hardest front pose because you're trying to do a couple of things at once. So you're mm -hmm. just pushing and you're dipping into it. So you drop this left knee, you drop yeah. the left knee, so that's it. So and then you push the you push the hip up. Yeah. Push the hip up. Push the hip up and drop the left knee. So you're so if we did this, obviously you'd be up straight. And we lift if we drop that, you can't really see yeah. anything there, can you? If you drop the it's it looks like this from the side, which is bizarre. But you drop yeah. that left knee and your right leg, be aware of your right leg, so it needs to be just yeah. behind you're making it look nice and tidy so it's behind your left leg. Okay? Yeah. And your upper body wise, you've got a great upper body, so let's see it. <laughs> so you I do. You do. So you would literally, again, same position with hands, they like it quite hip, hip height. And then you turn and you turn in your upper body, bringing up your lats so slightly and bring your arm down. Okay, nice. Right, okay, so let's see the, so go back into the left foot forward again then. Okay, so. The, you can do the two transitions into the both. Okay, so we're starting from the very first one. Yeah, do the first one. Okay, so this one here. This That's one. it. Um, Nice, it looks much better. Yeah? Yeah, it looks much better. So now you're gonna go in between this front pose into the other one. So you would just literally put your right foot back, that's all you're gonna do, right foot back, and you're gonna drop the hip, drop the knee towards the floor and push the glutes up. Knee towards the floor and the glutes up, so. That's nice, and then obviously it's a little bit, different when you've got heels on but put your feet together as much as you can so bring that back the leg at it um into the t t shaped position so that's it that's it that's it okay so that so your left foot will be facing forward on this okay and bring, bring that it bring your right heel towards your other hip so the arch of your foot on the right leg should be almost tucked into the back of your left heel. Okay. There. Almost, yeah. Very good. That's much better. It's not as wide. Then you don't want to keep that big wide gap. Okay, so okay. Now just dip down with the glute. So you just dip, dip forward. Yeah. Push it out. Yeah, that's fine. And then turn your upper body more towards the front so we can see your upper body. Okay, this pose is going to take some practice, um, but obviously, I what I've seen you today, I like you in the other pose, but okay. the pose that we're trying to bring in now, this is the hardest pose. Okay. But if you do crack it, it will look awesome on you. You just need to keep practicing it. Okay. <laughs> and it's hard, isn't yeah, it? It's so hard. Yeah. 
well just don't you know don't give yourself such a, a tough time with it if i was you i would just literally keep practicing the first pose yeah get the twist on because the the more flexible you become the more your posing will start to develop and you, you will look nicer because you can turn more where you like can, natural. yeah you can notice someone who isn't that flexible because they struggle to to get the turn yeah okay nice Okay, what's the what's the hand doing on your hip? Where's your? I can't see it from here. So have we got. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So just use it like this. So that that pushing. Okay. You know that... so that's what you're going to do. You see, you're going to push against your hip. Your hip's trying to go that way, and you're trying to push it that way. Okay. So pushing. Yeah, that's much better, and it's hidden there as well. That looks nice there okay that's much better and now go into so go into your transition then so it's right foot right foot back into the t position <laughs> so right foot arms back down into the t position and then there arms down that's it yeah nice okay looking over your yeah. left shoulder Nice yeah. smile, glutes out. Okay, that's awesome. Okay, thank you. And then very good. Oh, then I'm going to the other. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then the other one. How do I even start it? Um, your front, the second front pose. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, left foot forward, and yeah. then you've got your right foot in the. Or uh, maybe arch of your foot should be that's it in the t t shape position. Mm -hmm. And turn and turn the glutes, switch around. So it needs to be more of a let's have a little fixer. So this one you're doing, I think you're doing more like this. So you're still in this position, which is yeah. similar to the first one. So what we're trying to do is we're trying we're going. So your you, so that's your front pose, your you, you common one, and then you yeah. get back into this. Effectively, that's what you're doing. This is mm -hmm. going to be your second front pose. So it, all it is is just a moving of the foot to behind. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. right foot back, and then it's going to be you're just pushing it in towards the in towards that arch of your foot. Yeah. Yeah. So, and then you're. Yeah. you're so you're in this position, so you're facing forward. So you're doing the same position with your hands and your glutes. It's just that your feet are in a different place. Okay, there's the hands and glutes. But yeah. just yeah. Right, it's a hand on your hip. Yeah. That's it. So bringing it around. We just need to get rid of the visual of the right leg. Okay. So. Okay. Yeah. And from there, you would then twist around into the glute pose now with the feet you always use that t always use that t position so you're turning you've got, you've got this so you're doing this and then you, your left foot just goes straight and your right foot comes in that might be better so you're going from there which is your which is your transition into your front pose Left foot forward, so you're turning into that. Okay, so you're left foot forward and then turning. Left foot forward, turn with your glutes out. The right foot comes in towards the arch of your foot into the T-shaped position. Yeah. Right, and then that will then open you up into the back pose. So you that all you've got to do is you've got to move the left leg and just go straight. Okay. Mm -hmm. Go into the back. Perfect. I think, and the back pose is just there. Now I'm kind of face forward here. Yeah. So you're gonna. So we, if we're gonna talk about the rear pose. Yeah. Yeah. So you just transition to the left yeah. foot. The left foot and the right foot are parallel. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
and then just you're kind of tensing your shoulders like that, isn't it? So your shoulders, um, yeah, I can't, I can't see. Unfortunately, the camera's not allowing me to see. <laughs> you want me to be turning my back to you now? In terms of tensing, I have been. Yeah. Don't have to. Okay. We don't. We don't have to tense. They're actually not looking at. But obviously, what they're looking for is a well-developed physique, bikini style. So we don't have to flex. Okay. okay. The only okay. thing that we do is, is in the rear pose, we would then obviously use certain tricks to get to pop our glutes, to pop the hamstring, and that's when we start getting tensey. But we, what we have to do when we're in the back pose, we they don't want to see your back muscles. They're not interested. So it's okay. all about, it's all about the rear from from your bottom half. Yeah, so it is about the separation in your ham, and it's about the separations from your glutes as well. So, so we don't they don't well, they don't want to see your flex, your tricep, or you know into this, which you've probably seen in amateur shows. So that's why they have the hair down and they have it at the back and they, they do this with it because they're hiding it. Okay. So that, that's the whole point to it. So, so with the back pose, it, you really need to be concentrating about what's going on from your glute downwards, okay? okay. But I don't, like you say, I don't want to bombard you with too much, um, mm. too quick. <laughs> yeah, you're hard, okay. Hard, but... If we can just brush past it, but concentrate mainly on your front pose, I think that'd be the best thing that we can do. Okay. Um, and at least, you know, when you're practicing, you're not getting too bored, being stuck on just them transitions. Yeah. Um, so with the back pose, what you can do, so you're in the rear, you're in the rear position, obviously. So your, feet, yes. so your feet should be parallel. Again, it doesn't matter what you're doing with your hair. So your hands should be placed on the on your hips so they're in this position so what some athletes do is they use the heels of their hands to push their glute back because they don't need them and it keeps yeah. it keeps them from doing this okay. so they go into the position and they use the heels of the hands and they literally this is a back breaker okay so they yeah. pop the glutes out they get, some suit legs Straight, some are bent. It completely depends on the development of your glute and what pops your glute the most, okay? But in terms of your feet, rule of form are your toes are facing forward. Unless, forward. <clears throat> yeah, unless we have got not much development in the quad and you want to show some of your quad, you would then slightly turn your toes out. Mm -hmm. But then from a judge's point of view, they can see the side of your quad, okay? Yeah. It, honestly, it does just depend on your physique and where you're at. So, so like, that from the back? So, yeah, go on, do it. Okay, so nice. Okay, so use them hands. They don't want to see your back better. Tuck the heel of your hand in the, the like, you know the crease inside your um, between your hip. You know what your hip flexor is. Yeah. Push it right in so your bum is back. That's better. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay. Stay in this position as much as you can. I'm thinking about you holding yourself up. Bless you. Um, now twist your knees, your kneecaps, left yeah. and right. So what you're trying to do is you're trying to push your knees out towards the side. Okay. Yeah. That. It's really hard, but I think we should just leave that one until we've got your heels on. Because <laughs> you, can't, you, can't, you can't physically hold it for that long. I feel like I burnt out. I don't know. Oh, I've just got a glimpse of your quad there. You've got some awesome development there. Yeah, they used to be my best feature. Yeah. Quite developed compared to my upper half and stuff. But great, busy. Well done. Thank you. Clearly work hard. Only in the past year. How's the uh, lockdown been to you? What have you been able to train properly? Uh, yeah, I have because we um, we got some equipment initially for the first few months. Yeah. And then the last month or so, we actually got into a gym. So. Oh, amazing. So and then the gyms are open now. Oh, right. That's amazing. In Ireland. We're still closed. We're still closed. 
News, it's a bit of a disaster over there. I heard like they're yeah. in the pubs yeah. instead of the gyms. It's a joke. Well, it is a joke, isn't it? I can't believe that the you know they've ransacked the pubs this weekend and the the restaurants, but the gyms are not open. It's crazy. Yeah, and people are saying, you know, but it's because, you know, the government needs tax and stuff. But the thing is, like, if they're going to, that fine if they want to open the pubs, but they obviously don't care about the safety then, so just open the gyms. I know, exactly. It doesn't, like... Exactly. It doesn't it, make sense. You know, the ones that do need the gym, it's our therapy, and it keeps people, you know, sane, and, you know, got all medical issues and all kinds, you know. Yeah, I actually know a lot of boys that like would have been like crazy into the gym and like just kind of took out drinking over it because oh, they don't really have anything else to do. That's God love them, like. Yeah, it's sad, isn't it? Yeah, oh. like my boyfriend was so lost when he heard about it as well. You know, we okay. just kind of had to push through. It, yeah. So, the, what division does he compete in? He's IFBB physique. Wow, that's amazing. So he would have he's come, I think, second fourth and maybe one first as well he'd be like he'd be like close enough to pro oh wow so he's, he's trying he wants to he's kind of set now the next time he competes to just be yeah is he going to compete next year as well yeah he's going to compete at the same time as me so he kind of got me into it yeah i know it's so exciting like a lot of like if you get so much more support when like obviously you're rather half yeah. doing it as well yeah, it's really tough it really is tough and it's tough to be a couple that are competing as well people need to appreciate that you know that is hard put so much pressure <laughs> on you you know both yeah both. but equally it's got its strong points you know I, i'm with a competitor um, i was just about I, to ask are you yeah that's it's the same you know it has it's really it has a drawbacks but it has obviously you know it's comfort and the, the good thing is you both understand what you're doing so it's nice to go through it together yeah you know when you can't socially you know, go out for date nights and stuff like that. You, don't, you, you find ways, you know, we were sitting in the, in the cinema with Halo. You know. <laughs> I know, I know. And would, would you, um, are you, did, did you become pro? No, oh no, wow, I wish. That was an awesome compliment. No, I'm still, um, still competing in the amateur um, level, still fighting for the title. Um, and what are you doing, bikini? Yeah, bikini, yeah. Before lockdown, I was 10 weeks out of the World Championships. Um, oh, my God. So that, yeah, that was my goal, you know, to get yeah. to the World Championships. But obviously, that was, you know, took, took away from me. Um, so yeah. I can't complain, obviously, at what's going on in the world, you know, that's not... <laughs> but when you fought for it for, like, five years, four years, it's really... It's like the Olympics, isn't it? You know, it's the same with that them type of athletes as well. And yeah, exactly. That's crazy. Done. Yeah, so... I've just, like everybody else, just got to brush it off and I've decided to compete next year now. So, you know, I'm just going to go, like yourself, go in the heavy off season, just go, do you know what, I'm going to develop what I need to do, give myself a stronger package next year. Um, yeah. I'm going to go towards two bros as well. Um, oh, really? Where, where is that uh, on? Is it in the UK? Yeah, I'm going to do the UK, yeah. Um, oh, very good. Yeah, so, you know, hopefully uh, I'll do that with you as well. <laughs> <laughs> we'll fight <for> the same. <laughs> um, yeah, my like my coach. I had a coach a few months ago, and like she was, it was just for like to get kind to shred down, kind of for like, a photo shoot. And she was kind of like, "Oh, would you do WBFF?" That's what she does. Then to my wife, like I told my boyfriend about it, and he was like, "Like, do it if you want, but like eventually you'll want to go into IFBB from that." So yeah, yeah. Well, exactly. You know, everyone's everyone's different and you know mm. the, the advice that I can give you just do a bit of homework in different federations you know just yeah. use them to your advantage you you know you've got fantastic physique now so you know what you're going to bring next year is just you think so 100% 100% you. you know I work with a lot of athletes and you know I, I'm just honest and I don't say it lightly you know, but I do look at it what I can see and don't forget we're behind a video screen here so it's not it's not doing your physique or 10% justice, you know? It's mm. only like seven, I can see, at one out of seven, but I'm sure, you know, it is 10%. But you, we always need to develop. And the best advice to you is just get as much practice as you can, you know? Yeah. Um, and and do, a bit of, do a bit of warm-up shows. There's, you know, you've got the PCA there, which are just a fantastic federation to go for. Um, okay. Because I went from, I went from PCA, 
into two bros um 2018 and i found myself like really rusty and nervous and i've been okay. doing it for years because I, I, you know the transition between the two of them are completely different however i did mm -hmm. find it like a bit of an eye opener i sat back and thought i'm not ready to compete here yet like yeah you know but everybody has a different experience and you, you'll find you know you might actually really like that federation and compete and that's what i've ended up doing with pca i really like the federation oh you stuck with it did you yeah yeah i'm stuck with yeah i've stuck with them because obviously i want to become a pca world champion yeah and that might take me into elite pro and then i can just be an elite pro you know age isn't on my side i'm not as young as you so i have to, <laughs> you know think about how long i'm going to be doing this for plus you know my career i'm a full-time prep coach so i enjoy doing that side of it yeah I love to be on stage myself you know so we've got to, i've got to bear all that and put it all in context really but yeah. and well um see the way you were saying an, an elite pro mm -hmm. is that the same as is that like going into the kind of wbff i know it's not wbff but is it that pure elite pro or is that yeah. a different thing it's a different thing because each federation has um, a pro league so yeah. you would be an amateur pro you wouldn't actually mm -hmm. be a professional athlete which you would get your pro card for like yeah. two bros so you would just be um it has its drawbacks it's got its advantages because with elite pro you can go and compete international and with their mm -hmm. shows you can actually win a really high cash prize so, oh really yeah yeah so that's why some athletes go do you know what i'm not going to go for being a pro athlete because we don't get any money you know we don't mm -hmm. and you may well be in for different things i'm not in it for the money i'm in it because i love competing but if you were wanting to make a career out of it some yeah. athletes go towards being an amateur pro because they will then get they will you know they can make a lot of money from it mm -hmm. So it's just worth just doing a bit of homework, just doing a bit of research. The best place to go to is YouTube. You know, okay. Go on YouTube and just start spending your evenings instead of reading a book. Just read, just read YouTube. That's what I've did all yeah. the years, you know, and and got a lot of got a lot of information from YouTube. And do you see? Do you think the shape for like uh, PCA and IFBB is a bit different? Because I just know, like you have, you have a lovely like shape, but your shoulders aren't weirdly big, like a lot of the IFBB. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they are completely different. Um, mm. I like say each federation is completely different. PCA are they like their athletes to be full, hard, and lean. Um, okay. When I competed at the IFBB, it was more they wanted it. They wanted their athletes more softer, so they look really. Yeah, yeah. So they like softer so i competed i think there was 40 girls um and they said i was the only girl on stage who didn't wobble <laughs> so i was hard but i was yeah. five days out of the british champion for championship for pca so oh. uh, yeah so really i was asking i was i was a made athlete for the pca but not for you know the pro league yeah so that's and where did you Sorry. Did you place in that or did they not want yeah. that? You did yeah. place? Second, yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> and what about the girl that was first? Was she, um, like, she much different she, to you? She was a lot softer, um, you know, which was, she's a fantastic athlete, you know. We all are, all them girls on there were all amazing. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, she was, she was just, you know, what they were looking for, I guess. Um, I think yeah. she had more separation in her glutes as well, um, which I do tend to struggle with, and I'm working on that. So that is really and actually more more glutes really as well. Important when you're going into the pro league, that has to be it has to be there. You know, the yeah. not necessarily looking for really big shoulders. Um, mm -hmm. They're obviously looking for well developed shoulders. So you know, you've certainly got that. You know, that Thank that. You. that you you've got that but you need to continue working on that so if you break yeah. if you break it down they are obviously looking for the x figure so yeah. shoulders need to be well developed because don't forget you've still got to you've got to prep down so you lose mm -hmm. percentage of muscle yeah you kind of need to overload yourself during off season to make sure that you 
you've got, you know, you're allowing for that loss of muscle tissue as you come down. Mm-hmm. Um, you're saying you're not long off a, um, a cut or prep. Yeah. So, uh, a few months. Yeah, yeah. So are you dealing with a reverse diet at the moment? Have you got... Yeah, I'm kind of reversing. Well, I was reversing, but like I have a holiday coming up, so... I'm not, I'm not, I'm still eating slightly over maintenance, but I'm not like properly pushing food, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would, I know I probably need to be, but I just. I yeah, it's I hard, do. isn't it, from going from being so lean, you know? Yeah. That typical, oh, I want to stay like this, but I want to develop. So. I know, you know it's like. It's, let, it's letting go slightly. I'm at that, I'm at that point as well. So I feel. Just, you know, it's looking at like the bigger picture, but it's kind of hard, you know, because you're enjoying your clothes and all fitting so nicely. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, you know, it, it, you've got to trust the process, and if you don't, you, the, you know, calories are fuel. So if you don't, yeah. you know that if you don't fuel your system, then you're not, mm-hmm. you know, you're not, you're going to stay stagnant. So yeah, and just not going to progress. Not going to progress. You know, you've got your your boyfriend. Then I'm sure he says that to you all the time. He's always saying it. Yeah. Him eat every five minutes it seems <laughs> so, um, yeah that's the best you know well um, I'd probably um if if I can I'd like to book the four you know the four you were saying it's four for 150 or is it four or five yeah I book and then maybe do one a week if we can yeah, work with yeah, that that's absolutely fine just keep like you say the, the more practice you can do and it's really cool that you want to invest in it as well and you know you seem really committed and that's fantastic because not a lot of you'll be ahead of the game basically because most go in a little you know obviously they go in practice they you know what they've applied posing too late and you're thinking about mm-hmm. it now think about how much you're going to be you know when you're i know ju- just amazing i know i feel so comfortable knowing that i have a full nearly a full year like for for the posing part because yeah. i knew i would struggle with it yeah, yeah. You know, but I'm gonna practice. The more I practice in between our sessions as well, then the more beneficial the next one will be. So definitely, definitely. Sounds. Amazing. I'll get on top of it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, awesome. So, what time are we on? I'll go. Obviously, we need to then restart this again. Have you got? Oh, it's a, it's already four minutes to eleven. Do you want to? Okay. Working. <laughs> huh? Good sour forty five minutes. Do you want to let's <laughs> quickly over what we've just done then, so you can take it away and you can you know you can remember, but. Um, right. just, for the, just so you know, for the purpose of this, I have recorded it, so I can send you it. Yeah, I was going to ask, did you record it? So you yeah, know yeah, if you don't mind. Um, Will I go over it one more time? Yeah, let's see. Let's go from where you are. Okay. It's just so nice to chat to you as well. <laughs> I was going to get you too. But we can always jump on a Zoom call and we can just have a chat and we can just talk. Let, let's and do it. It's actually really nice because I had loads of questions. Okay, so yeah, my shoulders, first question balls, was, shoulders. So, okay. Let's put that this there. So, left foot forward, right foot. That's it. Um, now, remember this hand. We really do have to be driving it, driving it to your hip out towards the front of the wall. So you're really pushing it back. To, there. Okay, and let's just think about what we're doing with our face. This is really important, and the reason why it's really important is because it's what give it what gives us the judges. They will they will be convinced if you're confident. So if we're doing this or in our transitions, looking down at what we're doing, we are showing a sign that we're not confident. Okay, okay. so if a, if else fails, we always look up and smile. Because that's just, we're happy, we're confident, <laughs> scanning the judges. So just let's just think about the chin needs to be up because that then shows your um, top half off, which looks amazing. Yeah. Okay. So bring them hips right round. Nice. And then just lift this left arm just slightly up, just so you're not it. So it's just hanging, but you're showing, you can, sh- you can see the shoulder shape in this position. So next transition, right foot back slightly, and then you turn in, that's it, push back, dip into, yeah, nice. Okay. And now turn into the T shape so you can go into the back. So glute pop on the balls of your feet. 
look over at your shoulder. Nice, yeah. that's really nice. So left foot forward, right foot parallel, go into the back pose. Okay. Oh. Nice, okay. So don't forget to use them heels of your hands and tuck them. Okay, awesome. Okay? Yeah. And you, <laughs> you've done that really well, well remembered. Okay, you can practice the knees. Just you, now you know that trick, you can have a little go, even if you put in, you know, put on some stilettos for now or something, some shoes that you've got. Yeah. Okay. You've got great development, you really have. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so we, um, let me see next. Would Wednesday be okay for you again next week? Next week, it's fine, yeah. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. And then I'll, <laughs> and I'll send you money tomorrow. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine, yeah. Thanks. Just whatever you need to. But obviously in the meantime, just ask me anything. It's been incredible, obviously, working with you. Um, and oh, thank you so much. Your story is just amazing. You know, <laughs> honestly, it just makes me think, wow, I want to see this girl on stage. You've got, you know, you've got everything to be a potential, a really strong athlete. As long as you, you know, you can apply yourself in terms of, you know, the calories. Um, I'm assuming that you've got a coach by your side now or, you know. Yeah, you know, at the moment. Yeah. So that, you know, a, a coach in off season is just as important as it is on prep. I yeah. Always, always say that, you know. Because you need yeah, because I don't want to be gaining a whole pile of fat. And no, um, like obviously you're going to gain a bit of fat, but I see so many people going into off season and sure, like they don't even know what they've built really because they've that much fat on top. Really it. important. It's now what's going to determine your package when you get yourself on stage next year. You know, you don't want to yeah. be, you don't want to be, you know, steering your ship. You know, drunk. I always say you need a captain steering your ship, <laughs> and that and that's the way it is. A successful athlete has a coach all seasons every day on christmas day you, you, oh yeah i prefer to have one because i yeah. just I'd find it hard to stay on track and accountable otherwise so. yeah yeah okay well if you need anything or you need to ask me anything reach out and you know i'm happy to ha happy to help you obviously it'd be awesome to work with you so thank you so much <laughs> you too i loved working with you as well thank you well, I'll I'll send it 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 downloaded it okay thank you so much well, are you gonna send that up Huh? Hey, are you oh. still there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Bye, bye. Bye.